Welcome back to Life with Feet. I am nearly asleep. It is literally um, just before 7 a.m. here in Seoul, Korea, but we woke up at 2.30 a.m. to hop on a taxi and make our way to KBS Studios here in Seoul, Korea to film an episode of Good Morning Korea. And I am exhausted. I nearly fell asleep on the way, but I uh, got energized, got my two shots of espresso in and made it on the show. And it was awesome. I realized uh, what an opportunity it is to be able to be all the way here, thousands of miles away from home, but be able to share a message on a big screen on what's equivalent to Good Morning America. There's always going to be differences wherever I am in the world. So I always have to make sure that I kind of have an idea of what type of perspective there is towards disability within a country, because you never know, I could be walking on terrain that I should be more careful with. One of the things I did notice uh, during the interview is that some of the questions and, and the answers were like compare and contrast to someone who doesn't have a disability to someone who has a disability versus when I'm in the United States and I'm talking about how I live my life and I just say I do it with my feet. And it's just like this unspoken thing that obviously I have a disability but I've adapted in a certain way. And I don't know whether that was something that was lost or just part of the translational part of communicating my message in a different language or that was something interpreted differently or if that was just something that culturally is different. New York is known for its inaccessible metro system. I wish it was more like here in Seoul where I see a lot of accommodations for people traveling who happen to have a disability. And if you don't realize how inaccessible the New York metro system is, check out the video that Zach made. Some of the things I've seen are easy to read signage like this, dedicated doorways and seats, and easy to navigate ways for people with visual impairments. I'm here in South Korea and it has been a beautiful time I know it's freezing for this desert rat, but I like the cold. I like putting on layers and experiencing the cold once in a while. This is such a beautiful country. The connection I have with Taekwondo and of course my personal connection for being here is because my sister and brother-in-law are expecting their first baby. And I, my, I, I am here with my husband here to support them in this very exciting time and have had the chance to not only be in Seoul and visit some of the sites like the KBS studios and some of the historic sites and museums, but I'm able to just really embrace the beauty of this country. I mean, it's, it's gorgeous. I love coming to South Korea. I mean, how many places in the world can you go and actually grill your food at your table? It's pretty awesome to be able to have a barbecue grill at your own table and grill up your own meat. It's been great, it's tasted delicious, and the people here are so welcoming, so gentle. The spirit is, is really nice and, and their hospi hospitality is wonderful. Uh, beautiful sights everywhere you go. There is neat things to do if you wanna go and go to a museum, you can go to a museum. If you wanna go climb up a tower, you can go climb a tower. If you wanna just walk around and go shopping, this is like a shopper's paradise. I love to shop. And uh, the food is just, again, amazing. So I would really encourage you to come out here sometime, just to, for a couple days to enjoy the country, enjoy the people, and especially enjoy the food. Don't forget to like and subscribe, and if you wanna see more videos like this, a glimpse into Korea or a glimpse into life with feet, please go to patreon.com slash toe talks and subscribe.